last week's champion, Lorraine and Lalane, who won by a whisker. Cavite Institute from Silang. Cavite, of course. Your buzzer, please. Okay, welcome, Lorraine. She's 16 years old and she's in fourth year, where she's the president of the Social Studies Club and the editor-in-chief of the school paper. She prefers social studies and math, and she hopes to take up political science as a pre-law degree. Of course, you'd like to be a lawyer or a politician? A lawyer. A lawyer. Lelaine over here is 15 years old, also in fourth year. She likes math and physics, and she's a president of the Cavite Science Youth Student Council and vice chairman of the Student Council. Lelaine plans on studying ECE in college. You know, the last time you won, you couldn't believe it. But hey, now you're back here, and you're ready for the monthly finals. How does it feel, Elaine? Um, of course, still we're, we're a little bit nervous, but still we are heard that we have that confidence that we can make it. Okay, Lorraine, how about you? Feeling the same way? No, I feel just all right. You're feeling all right. Now you're feeling all right. A while ago you weren't. Okay, let's continue with our competition. This is the monthly finals. The winner of this moves on to the quarterlies next week. So, okay, you know the rules. We start off with easy questions. Uh, we'll have 300 points for every correct answer, and we start off with a question in history. This Mongol leader born in when and less? Genghis Khan. That is wrong. Now let me finish the question. This Mongol leader born in 1162 went on to conquer and establish the Mongol Empire, which spanned Eastern Europe to China. He was known to the world as Genghis Khan, which means the greatest ruler. What was his real name or his name at birth? Cherry. Temujin. That is correct. Temujin. <laughs> Let's go to the arts. Who sculpted or who was the sculptor of the famous statue? The Thinker. Merv and Cherry, the Thinker. The Thinker. Oh, should I guys Raphael. That's wrong. Sharon. August Rodin. All right, that's correct. It's pronounced August <laughs> Rodin. General information. What do you call the law that prohibits the reproduction of literary, musical, and artistic works? When and less. Patent. That's very close, but that's wrong. Okay. A law that prohibits the reproduction of literary, musical, and artistic works in whole or in part. Copyright. That's correct. Copyright. Without the author's or the publisher's consent. Science. What is the important animal hormone responsible for the control of glucose levels in the blood? Result again. Insulin. Yes, insulin is correct. A lot of pressure on these students. They're all very intelligent, but of course only one will move on as a champion. Let's have mathematics. You can take this down. The sides of a right triangle are denoted as X x plus 1 and x plus 2. What is the largest side of this triangle? Your time begins now, Alexis. 5. Hey, that's correct. 5 is correct. Very good. Let's go to history. What policy pursued by Gorbachev? Yes, our UN Secretary General. Uh, Glasnost or the open policy? That's correct. Glasnost. <laughs> Allowed for greater freedom of expression in the former Soviet Union. The arts. In what play by Shakespeare can one find the following lines? Be careful. Shakespeare has a lot of plays. Life's but a walking shadow. Holy Angel? Uh, as you like it. That's wrong. Life's but a walking shadow. Lorraine and Elaine. The Merchant of Venice. Wrong. Now, let me finish. Maybe it might be familiar to you. Life's but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. Where do you find these lines? Shakespeare. Is that? Much to do about nothing. All right, we're running out of his place. Angela City. As you like it. Oh, someone else said that. But anyway, it's probably one of his most famous ones, Macbeth was the answer. General information. What country occupies a peninsula extending northward from the center of continental Western Europe and has, and this is the giveaway, Copenhagen as its capital? Holy Angel? 
Denmark. Yes, Denmark is correct. Oh, this is exciting and very tight race. Let's have science. What do you call any substance that is used to detect the presence of a chemical substance by its change of color? Only angel again. Litmus paper. Wrong. They signal the completion of a reaction. Methyl orange and phenolphthalein are just some of these examples. Rizal? Buffer. Wrong. They detect the presence of a chemical substance through a change in color. Tadite. Phytochemical screening. No. Who hasn't answered yet? I'm going to see. Come on. Acid base detectors. Indicator is the answer. And the last question for our first round. This will be in mathematics. How much is 256 raised to the exponent 3 over 4? 256 raised to the exponent 3 fourths. You have 30 seconds. This is a high school monthly championship. One of these teams will move on to the quarterly finals. We have Angela City High School, Rizal High School, Holy Angel University, and of course, Cavita Institute, last week's champion. Rizal High School, your 64. answer. 64. Alexis, you are right. 64 is the answer. <laughs> so, it's Rizal High School threatening to pull away in this championship with 1,500 points. Next in line, Angela City with 600, still very close. 300 points for Holy Angel, Cavita Institute, no score yet. Lorraine and Elaine, don't you worry, we have one more round coming right up. But before we get to that, here's some food for your brain from PLDT. We're back in these hotly contested monthly finals. Right now it's Rizal High School in the lead, second place Angeles City, third place Holy Angel and Cavite Institute in final place. But as I said, Lorraine and Elaine, we have one round and here's the good news. It is 500 points for every correct answer, which means even if you're in last place or third place, you can still catch up. Let's start off with a question in the arts. Listen. What poem by Christopher Marlowe begins with, Come live with me and be my love? Cavite Institute. A passionate shepherd to his love. Yes, that's correct. A passionate shepherd to his love. And now, with one answer, you are in third place with 500 points. History. The Korean War of 1950 to 1953 ended on July 27 in 1953 with the signing of this document establishing an end to hostilities without victory to either side and keeping Korea a divided country. What is this landmark document called? Holy Angel. Document of the 38th parallel of latitude. That is wrong. That eventually came out of that treaty, but what was this treaty called? Put an end to hostilities. Rizal? Truce of Palmodin. Wrong. Very close. Truce of Pan Munjom is the answer. Next question. General information. What do you call an employee who stands before the entrance to a show and attracts customers? Cavite? Um, guard. Security guard. Okay, but I'm not yet through. But I think security guard, but not if I ask this question. Is that high school? Ah, uh, sure. No, let me finish. Oh. Let me finish. What do you call that employee who stands before the entrance to a show? Yes, a security guard, but not. Okay, I'm going to see you. You don't want me to finish? That's your choice. Sorry. Uh, receptionist. Sabi ko na let me finish. Now, this person attracts customers by shouting. No? Loud, colorful sales talk. Step right up, step right up, come in. Who, what do you call this person? In, in theater, usually, Holy Angel? Caller. A barker. Barker is the answer. 